And now from the Coastal Empire and Low Country Studios of WJCL News, WJCL News at 6, working for you. On the air with breaking news tonight as former Metro Police Chief Willie Lovett is indicted on federal charges. Thanks for joining us tonight. I'm Kevin Holmes. And I'm Jennifer Andrews. We were there as Lovett was arraigned just a few hours ago. We have team coverage of this breaking story. We are taking a look back at some of the other scandals that have plagued the former chief. Plus, three others also charged. WJCL's Larry Spruill working for you, digging up details on those indictments. But first, WJCL's Ashley Lincoln was at this afternoon's arraignment and joins us live at the federal courthouse in Savannah with the latest. Ashley, what have you learned? Well, that's right, Kevin and Jennifer. Earlier today, former Metro Police Chief Willie Lovett exited this federal courthouse after being arraigned on with federal charges involving a gambling operation and extortion. Now, he said very little in the courtroom as the judge, judge read the charges he's facing. Lovett was indicted Wednesday by a federal grand jury on charges of extortion, participating in an illegal gambling operation, and conspiracy to obstruct enforcement. He faces a maximum of 110 years if convicted. It. And here's the breakdown of the charges. First, he's facing one count of commercial gambling with a maximum of five years, one count of conspiracy to obstruct enforcement with another maximum of five years, and five counts of extortion, each carrying a maximum sentence of 20 years. Now, these charges date back to 2004 when Lovett was a major with the police department. He was granted an unsecured bond in the amount of $30,000. And after the proceedings, we caught up with Lovett walking out walking out of the federal courthouse this afternoon with this attorney and here's what they had to say we entered a plea of not guilty today and we'll uh we plan to prove that in a court of law very soon thank you that's all we have and Savannah Mayor Edna Jackson didn't want to comment on Levitt's indictment, but did say this. Our city manager and city attorney have led a broad process that has resulted in overdue change. We are now focused on the future of the department, including the selection of a new chief and implementation of new programs to bring a higher level of professionalism to the department. They deserve your support moving forward. And again, Levitt is pleading not guilty to all of these charges, and he's facing a um, over 100 years if convicted, Kevin and Jennifer. Hey, Ashley, uh, cameras were not allowed in the courtroom, so set the scene for us. Describe the chief's mood for us. Yeah, it was a very serious scene when you walk into the courtroom, Kevin. Um, Lovett was really reserved. He was quiet. He had handcuffs on him, which I'm sure he's not used to being on this side of the law. And there were um, marshals around him throughout the entire proceeding. But it was a very serious tone in the courtroom, and the judge was very stern on the charges that he's being um, alleged against. So very serious matters, and we're going to follow this case as it progresses, um, Kevin and Jennifer. All right, thank you, Ashley. Appreciate it. We'll check back with you. And we continue our team coverage with an in-depth look at the charges. Love it. And three others are charged for their roles in an illegal gambling operation. That's right. Larry Spruill has been following this story. He joins us in the studio with more on that. And Larry, what have you learned? Well, Kevin and Jennifer, as we mentioned before, police chief, former Metro Police Chief Willie Lovett was indicted by a federal grand jury on multiple charges. One charge is participating in an illegal gambling operation. But... He wasn't alone. Three other defendants were also charged as well. Randall Wayne Roach and Kenny Amos Blunt, not seen in this picture, were also charged in the superseding indictment with running an illegal gambling business and with conspiracy with Lovett to obstruct the enforcement of Georgia gambling laws. A fourth defendant, Randall Wayne Roach Jr., was charged with participating in an illegal gambling business. Now, according to the allegations contained in the superseding indictment since 2004, Roach, Blunt, Roach Jr., and others would operate an illegal gambling business in Savannah. During holiday celebrations such as St. Patrick's Day and other events, the illegal gambling business would operate in violation of Georgia gambling laws but free from law enforcement intervention. The Department of Justice says Lovett extorted cash payments from Roach and others. In return, Lovett provided protection to the illegal gambling business against enforcement of Georgia gambling laws. Now, the superseding indictment alleges that in 2013, Lovett received cash payments on five separate occasions in exchange for protection against the enforcement of the criminal gambling laws of the state of Georgia. Roach. Roach Jr., Blunt, and Lovett each face a maximum sentence of five years in prison, $250,000 fine, and three years of supervised release on the commercial gambling charge. Lovett, Roach, and Blunt also face a maximum sentence of 
five years in prison, $250,000 fine, and three years of supervised release on the conspiracy to obstruct the enforcement of state criminal laws charge. Now, you must remember that these are just allegations. The indictment does not mean that they are guilty. We'll have a whole lot more coming up tonight at 10 and 11, Kevin and Jennifer. All right, All right thanks, sir. Mm -hmm. Scandal has surrounded former Chief Willie Lovett for more than a year now. That's right. We have been working for you, digging up details on the turmoil. One scandal after another called credibility into question. Then the former chief resigned. Then the department faced threats of litigation. In light of today's indictment, we want to take a look back at the past year for the Metro Police Department. Our own Renee LaSalle was working for you to investigate it all. Savannah Chatham Metro is a different department today than it was a few short months ago. I realized that um, the community has heard a lot um, of negativity and it is now our turn to turn that around completely. The change took effect when 32-year veteran Julie Tolbert was named as interim chief in late September, but the shakeup started even earlier. Two veteran officers filed racial discrimination suits against Chief Willie Lovett. Captains Charles Hall and Dean Fagerstrom claimed they were each passed over for a promotion to major. They said Lovett wanted to fill the positions with white officers. In mid-September, Metro's woes got even worse when a memo from Chatham County District Attorney Meg Heap said her office wouldn't prosecute cases if Star Corporal Willette Williams or Sergeant Malik Khalees played a primary role. The problem? Credibility. WJCL News poured through more than 1,000 personnel and internal affairs documents. An outside investigation revealed the officers worked together to warn Williams' brother, a drug suspect, that he was under surveillance. Williams was fired. Calise later resigned. Metro's problems didn't end there. Before September was through, officers Trina and LaPrentice Mays filed sexual harassment and employment discrimination complaints, naming Chief Willie Lovett as a primary offender. The talk was Lovett was stepping down. I'm hearing word of possible retirement from you. Is that is that true? Is that not true? I don't know who told you that, but maybe you should get the details from them. The former chief retired within days. The good news now is that since uh, Chief Lovett is retired, that people do feel comfortable coming forward. It was the first of eight sexual harassment, retaliation, or employment discrimination suits. Lovett, the city, the department, and other officers were named. Unfortunately, it appears that these are not isolated incidents, but rather that there was a pattern. By the end of 2013, Savannah Chatham Metro was still in transition, with Interim Chief Tolbert calling her main goal cleaning up the department and getting back to the community. Restoring that trust that they've lost, whatever that might be. Renee LaSalle, WJCL News, working for you. And our in-depth coverage continues on WJCL.com. There you can read the entire Department of Justice release on the indictment. You can also read Mayor Edna Jackson's response. And you can see historicals about the trouble that Lovett has been in over the past year. Well, a former banker and pastor believed to be dead could spend 30 years behind bars. Prosecutors say Aubrey Price embezzled millions. And when police zeroed in, Price faked his death and went on the run. WJCL's Nick Notario was in the courthouse today and joins us with the details. Nick? Price faced hundreds of years behind bars, but with this deal, he could be sentenced to just 30 years.